Hello, this is Hope from Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm I'm going to show you guys how to more efficiently use the texture aspect of uh, the building tool. Uh, the first time I did the tutorial on it, I pretty much just uh, kind of used uh, more of a Blender way of doing it. Uh, but this time, I'm just going to use the Blender tools. Um, texturing engine I guess a texturing uh, tool to do it and it's a lot better and the first thing we're going to do is just get rid of these the uh, lights and the camera we don't really need that delete that and we're going to get a little bit more light in our scene and change the uh, viewport to Eevee let's click on our cube click on our move gizmo let me turn to my screencast keys turn this on okay kind of reposition this somewhat all right that looks better and I'm going to duplicate this cube like about five to six times so shift D put it out shift D again that's three Shift D, it's four, Shift D, five, Shift D again, and six. Uh, you really can't see the cubes, but we're going to give them a different color. You'll see why we're doing this in a minute. We're going to use all the, the different colors of, of these cubes as placeholders for our colors and our textures for our building. So we're going to turn this to red. Oh, that's the wrong thing to turn to red. That's the uh, background. Turn this back to white. One, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. Go to the material tab, which is the right one. And uh, all of them are using the, sh the same shader, so we're going to click on this number six so it can be just the shader can just affect this cube only. So click on that to make it single user. Click on our cube and turn this red. Same thing for the uh, next cube. Turn this green, click on the next one, turn this blue, click on our next one, uh, turn this yellow, and we have to make it single user again. Click on that cube, single user, and turn this purple, and our last cube is already singled out, and we're going to turn this one, oh, it's lots of colors, orange or peach. And it's kind of a tedious process, but it's it helps with actually just actually making it a little bit simpler, so to speak. But we're going to hold down the left mouse button, click and drag. We're going to move this on the y-axis over to get this out of the way. And we're going to just make a, a quick building here. Let's press A to deselect all of our cubes. And we're going to go to our building tool click on that to make a quick building nothing fancy create plan let's change the world the dimensions are fine but let's change this world to like a more of a grayer color and we can see it better see our mesh better go into edit mode by pressing tab and face select mode click on that icon there and let's click on our cube there and click add floors and it automatically adds a slab to it click on that um, face there and we're going to add a window pivot around click on this face add a door click on the top add a roof we got a better mode by pressing tab and that's our building I put a sunlight in here shift A you can see a little bit better light sun pull this out uh, pull up on the Y, Z axis, rotate it on Y, and see it a little bit better, our window better. And <coughs> the uh, building tool has its own uh, shading, shading aspect of it, so let's left, left click on our building. And it has its own material slots for each uh, part of your mesh. Left click on that, you can see it's walls, windows, frame, door, roof. 
slabs. It's going to click on slab, and when we click inside of this, um, I'm going to call it an icon. Click in that. All the materials that we created with those cubes are automatically put in there. So basically, <coughs> any materials that you already have in your Blender scene automatically appear in this window. I'm going to move my shape, my uh, screen cast keys over because this is blocking it again. Let's move it over this way, more like in the center. Okay. Let's go back to our building tool. So let's click. Okay. Thank you, McAfee. All right. So we're going to click in that. Uh, click on that icon. And make sure we have our slabs selected. And let's go to our material shader. And in our material slot, there's nothing there. So when we click on slabs, go into edit mode by pressing tab. And what you're going to do now is press select. And it's going to select the slab automatically. And we're going to click in this on this icon here and click on that material. And it automatically puts that material in the material slot for the slab. Now the reason why the whole thing turns orange is because we haven't assigned any other materials to our mesh. So Blender just feels that this whole thing is the color of that slab. And help us keep track. You have to do these procedures consistently so you don't confuse yourself to keep track of what our material is. Look at that tab out of edit mode. Click on this number to make it a single user again. And then click on inside of this uh, slot here and rename this to slab. And enter. And that's been saved that slab. Now go back to edit mode. Press A to deselect that. Go to walls select and it selects our walls once again click on this icon here go to the next material which is the red material and click on that and now the walls have been given that red material and you have to get out of edit mode again by pressing tab click on that slot make it single user left click in this per parameter and rename it to walls enter and it's the same process for all these slots here, but we're just going to go through it one at a time just to get it kind of ingrained in our brains. Go into tab again, edit mode, press A to select that. Go to window, select that so it selects the window. Click on that icon, go to your next material, which is the green one. Click on that, and now the window is green. And get out of edit mode by pressing tab again. Click on the next icon, single user by clicking on that number. Click in that uh, slot there and rename this to window. Enter. Go back into your onto your material. Edit mode. A D D select. Frame. Select. Icon. Go to the next material, which is the blue one. Left click on that. Now the window frames and the door frames are blue. Get out of edit mode by pressing tab. Go to the next material slot on that. Make it a single user by clicking on that number. Click in that slot there, name this to frame, enter. Go back to your user interface, press tab. And I'm repeating this over and over because that's the best way you can remember this process is if you hear it over and over again, then it gets you know stuck in your mind. <coughs> press A to deselect everything. Go to door, select, go to that icon there, go to the next material, which is the I'm thinking this is yellow. Click on that. It assigns it to the door. Get out of edit mode by pressing tab. Go to the next slot. Single user. Click on that. Type in door. Enter. Go back to this parameter here, or to your user interface. Press edit tab by going to edit mode. A to deselect everything. Click on roof. Select that. And click on that icon. And the next one is the purple one. Click on that. Now our roof is selected. Press tab to get out of edit mode. Go down to the next material slot. Left click on that. Left click on the number to make it single user. Left click in that slot and rename this to roof. And once again, important step, file, <coughs> excuse me, and save. This is something else I've been working on here. Uh, tutorials. Click on that. Let me save this as build. Build to. Let me just call it build to. 
And now we have, <coughs> excuse me, all of the materials applied to our mesh. Now, obviously, you don't want, unless you're making some kind of animation based on a cartoon or something simple, you wouldn't want this to be the end result of uh, the texture, the uh, color, or material application. So we want to go further by turning all these basic colors, basic principal colors, into a texture. So we're going to divide our window here. And we're going to go to the shader icon and left click in there, go to shader editor, click on that. And once again, have on our node wrangler enabled, left click on that. And again, if you want to enable the node wrangler, go to edit preferences, type in node. You see node wrangler, put a check box, a check mark in this box and it's activated. And then you click on, make sure that only this node setup is selected by clicking on it, left clicking on it, and then press Control T, and then G to grab it up. And we're going to, <coughs> excuse me, change the color of this roof from a basic color to a texture. And we're going to, since it's not UV unwrapped, we have to go with the generated aspect of it. So once again, let's turn it from UV to generate it, just left click your mouse on that node there and left click and drag it. Turn from point to texture and then open and just navigate to where you saved your texture. This is what I'm doing now, so I'm going to choose this texture here. Left click on that. And it looks great at the top, but the size was stretched. To fix that, change this from flat to box and that's been fixed. And then let's scroll up, let's go to our slab here. It's the same thing with this left click on the principal shader control T G to grab all those those new sets of nodes up to the top where you can see it left click and drag from generated to UV go from point to texture and then open blender textures I'm going to navigate to another texture this is for the slab so I'm going to double click on that one and that's been applied once again this has been stretched on the side so it changes from flat to box, and that's been fixed. Walls is the same thing. Left click on that. Control T. G to grab this up. Generate it. From UV to generate it. <coughs> UV to generate it, excuse me. Point to texture. And open. And this is our wall. These are our walls. Let's navigate. Let me navigate to where I have saved a wall texture. Let me choose this one. <coughs> It's been stretched out, so it's flat to boxed. Let me get a drink of water. Uh, that was much better. And these are kind of stretched out. The bricks are kind of big. We can change the size of these bricks by going to the scale. Let's divide it by half. Left click, click twice, slash two. And the scale on, this is still the walls left click on the Y twice slash 2 and it's made it smaller which looks better let's go to our window and blender has its own glass shader so we're going to press uh, let me see shift A and we're going to go to shader and glass and we're going to left click on that and just delete that and then just drag this over and there's our window, our glass. It looks white because it's reflecting the surroundings. Um, that's why it's white let like that. And then let's go to our frame. Click on that, left click on that shader, principal shader. Control T. Let's grab this up. Let's pull it over a little bit. Generate it from UV, point to texture. Open. Blender textures. Once again, navigate to where you've saved your textures. I'm going to choose a wooden texture for this. Let me scroll down. We might have a lot of textures, so let me have to really like navigate through here. That's good enough. And it's stretched out, so left click from flat to box, and that looks better. And the last two. The last one is the door. 
which is over here and again control T G to grab it up pull it up uh, UV to generated point to texture open up another wooden texture scroll all the way to the bottom uh, let me see this one's good too that stretched out so from flat to box and then that's it and that's the way you can use um, the build tools uh, texture texturing aspect of it the right way in blender so this is today's blender quick tip I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching once again thank you guys who have subscribed and those of you who are subscribing at this point in time I really appreciate you guys and I thank you for your subscriptions and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.